Bandor is live for us out at Sacramento Executive Airport right now where she spoke with our live copter three pilot, Michelle. I did. Goulston, now crews have finally moved that crashed chopper from the site here at the airport, but you can see behind me there are still some of those damaged helicopters from that incident on Wednesday. And like you said, we spoke to live Copter 3 pilot Dan Oppenheim. He says there's a lot that goes into just starting one of these helicopters, let alone flying one. I've been flying about 10 years. All of my time is in helicopters. Helicopter pilot Dan Oppenheim flies live copter three all over Northern California. Seat is around the other side, right over here. Oppenheim says the attempted helicopter heist took him by surprise. I was in disbelief. Um, it's even just getting a helicopter started is not an easy thing to do. He should know. Besides being an experienced pilot, Oppenheim is also a flight instructor. When you watch a student try and fly for the first time, they can't hover, they can't uh, really control where it's going. That's what the FBI believes happened to the chopper culprit, who investigators say tampered with and damaged four helicopters before starting one, crashing it, and leaving it on its side. Pieces of it scattered all over the apron. It's not as simple as getting into a car and either using a key fob or turning a key. There's no obvious button here that just says push to start. So <laughs> it's a lot more difficult. Every aircraft has a startup checklist. You get to pretty much here before you're ready to leave the ground. I mean, that's a lot of steps. Yeah. Skipping steps is not an option to get safely in the sky. Really have to make sure that everything is done in the appropriate sequence and make sure that everything is done properly. In the botched helicopter theft, Oppenheim also wonders how the suspect got away without any major injuries. That one is hard to explain. That No one was hurt, so it very easily could have been a lot worse. Oppenheim says this whole incident was really just unnecessary. And he also says you need 40 hours, a minimum of 40 hours of flight experience to get your helicopter pilot's license. But realistically, he says one should have 60 to 70 hours of flight experience. And we did speak to other several pilots who believe the suspect may have had some limited knowledge of the instruments inside the machine because that suspect was able to get that chopper off the ground even for a little bit. And like you heard, it takes a lot of information and experience to be able to do just that. Reporting live in Sacramento, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News.